Ah, augmented intelligence. Yeah, well, it's Martin Coleman, IRG. We're going to stick to augmented intelligence. Now, I can hear the worries. I can feel the, the pressure growing. But let's step back a bit now, because the thing that's really in our case at the moment is education. It's about can we replace, say, our level two engineer that fixes RFI. I mean, it's, it's, that's a big post, it's a big job, and it's a lot of experience. So how are we gonna face that? It's a problem for all operators. You know, we've got to basically train it. It's gotta be part of, like the WTA certification program. It's all part there. So let's leave that AI piece out of this for a minute. So we imagine we've got a level two of a satellite operator, they're going to want, you know, they're going to retire. So you've got to put a plan in. It's probably take three years to get a person up to speed properly, experience. Then add the fact we've got 6,750 satellites arriving any second, and who knows what? Everything nanosats, cubesats, and anything else that I'm probably unable to imagine. It's a lot. In other words, what we were used to was a lot and now it's grown. So let's bring in a new term here, digital assistant. Digital assistant. Put that in. Now start a training program for machine learning whilst you train your new guy. Let's just call one operator for the moment. But let's say we call upon other operators to help fund that extra training of uh, effectively another person. Don't forget the human side for a minute. Let's just think about this. Carry this through three years. Let's say the machine might take five years project work to get this to work. Now let's step right forward. This becomes a global digital assistant. Remember the word assistant. Humans make decisions. It's serving us. It's subservient to us all the time. But look, 24 seven doesn't get tired. It needs no pensions, no holidays. And it keeps learning. Something humans have trouble doing when we throw 6,750 satellites at it. So the lesson is, we got engineers, we still got that problem and, and it's not easy. Bringing them from school right through is a probably at least a 10, possibly 12 year process. We don't take that away, but if you're going to cope, satellite operators, with the problem, teleport operators want services well. We've got lots of other technology, so don't get frightened by the word augmented intelligence. This is not Terminator. It's augmented, it's in the word. Digit think digital assistant, because that's a real possible project aim, and I would hope you guys out there can deliver that. And for WT and SSPI, got to be something that we can all get our teeth into and make happen. And not everybody, I don't think it need cost as much as you think to make that happen. So thank you for listening. Go get it. Thank you.